They've been slow cooked to perfection and now they're ready to eat. At the Kuya tribe's annual agave festival, this edible plant is celebrated for sustaining them through hard times, providing food and hydration. The texture is similar to artichokes, but the taste is, is sweeter. Singing, dancing and traditional crafts are also part of this celebration of Kuya culture. They're one of the smaller Native American tribes now struggling to keep their traditions alive. Inviting in members of the wider public to festivals like this is one way to do this. People assumed that there weren't any Indians in this area. And this is one way of uh, showing that, uh, yes, we're still here and that we, we do recall something of our, of our um, traditions. Around a thousand Kuya live on this reservation, a couple of hours drive from Los Angeles. But only a handful still speak their native language fluently and sing traditional songs like this one for rain. That's what it's saying, saying the pollen's going into the ground and it's, it's making the earth beautiful. Back at the festival, it's not just agave on the menu. I don't, I, well, I don't know what this is. What it is, is rabbit stew, pureed acorns and grilled cactus. I'm, I'm really excited about that because that's the Choya cactus. Um, usually they hurt me, so I'm really excited to be able to eat them back. <laughs> the proceeds from this festival will help fund the reservation's museum, which has helped to create a writing system to record the tribe's spoken culture. Founded in 1964, it's the oldest California museum on Native American land, and its curator happens to be French. There's currently a real renewal underway, a Native American identity. These people are again proud to be Native Americans. Now there are several generations, little girls and boys, who are relearning to speak Kuya, who are relearning basket-making skills. The Kuya tribe hope that by educating outsiders and inspiring their own young people, they can keep their way of life going in a sea of mainstream American culture.